So, first rule. Uh, and I, I, there's another one I um, in, in, need to mention, x d n d m, okay, unlike this rule where they add, okay, that equals x d n times m, okay. So, so example of uh, x to the 3 times x to the 4. Three plus four, 3 plus 4 is 7, okay? Um, x to the minus 3 times x to the minus... 9 equals x to the minus x3 minus 9 equals x to the minus 12. Okay. x to the minus 2 times x to the 11. Um, because x to 9, okay? They add up. 11 minus 2 is 9. Minus 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so um, next example if you have x to the 4 divided by x to the 1 equals x to the 4 minus 1 equals x to the 3. Okay, x to the 7 divided by x to the uh, 20 equals x is 7 minus 20 which equals x minus 13 okay and x to the 3 divided by x to the minus 7 equals x to the 3 minus minus 7 okay so it's taking away minus 7, which is equal to the x3. Minus times minus is plus, okay? Remember, plus times plus equals plus. Minus times plus equals minus. Plus times minus equals minus, okay? So, 3 plus 7, okay? Um, which equals x10, x to the power of 10, okay? Um, another example, so x to the minus 3 equals 1 over x cubed. That's applying, um, that rule, okay? Rule 5. The other two have just been applying these two rules, okay? So, yeah, when you're adding them together, that's this rule. When you're dividing them, that's this rule, okay? Um, what's the next one? If you have x1 over 3, is equal to, that's actually equal to the that's equal to the cube root of x okay and x the half 
equals the square root of x. Okay? You don't actually put the 2 in, you just write it as a square root sign. Um, and the last example, this is using this formula. So x to 3, 4. That should be times, not add. 3 times 4 is 12, okay? Where x to the minus 2 to the power of 6 equals x minus 2 times 6, which equals x. 2 times 6 is 12, but it's minus 2 times plus 6, as I mentioned said before. Um, so minus times plus equals minus, okay? So that gives you minus 12, okay? Right, so if you want to, um, some problems to practice, if you want to try x to the 4 times x to the minus 1, what's that equal to? And x to the minus 5 times x to minus 2, what's that equal to? And x to the 7 divided by x to the 1, what's that equal to? And another one, x to the 6 divided by x to the minus 1, what's that equal to? Okay? Um, and how about x to the minus 2, 3, what's that equal to? Okay. Um, What's x to nothing equal to? Okay. And x to 1 equal to? And we'll, okay, so I'll do another example. x to the 4 to minus 1. What's that equal to? Okay, if you pause the video and practice these. Pause. Now I'm going to give you the answers, okay? So x to the 4 times x to the minus 1 equals x to the 4 plus minus 1, which equals 4, sorry, x to the 4 minus 1, which equals x to the 3, okay? x to the minus 5 times x to the minus 2 equals x to the minus 5 plus minus 2 which equals x to the minus 5. Plus times minus is minus, remember? So it's minus 2, which equals x to the minus 5 minus 2 is minus 7. Okay? Um, next one, x to the 7 divided by x to the 1 equals x to the 7 minus 1, which equals x to the 6. Okay? x to the 6th divided by x to the minus 1 equals x to the 6th minus minus 1, which equals, remember minus times minus is plus. So that's x to the 6th plus 1, which equals x to the 7th, okay? 6 plus 1 is 7. Minus 6 minus minus 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. And then x minus 2 cubed equals x minus 2 times 3 because it's in the brackets, okay? It's that rule that's in the brackets, remember? Remember this rule, okay? Um, so, so minus 2 times plus 3 is minus 6. Minus times plus is minus, so it's minus 6. And then x to the 4 
minus 1 equals x to the 4 times minus 1. 4 times minus 1 is minus 4. Okay? Minus times plus is minus is minus 4. And lastly, x to the power of 0 equals 1. And x to the power of 1 equals x. Okay? So, yeah, just practice lots. Ask me any questions. Um, if you want me to explain anything again, ask me. Thank you.